Hispanic era coming? <laughs> are we are we waiting for the 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 um Sasson fun? The Sasson fun coming in. Uh, I'm a, uh, spooky I'm a, I'm a oh good music choice. Finally, we can get DMCA. <laughs> no, this is uh, I believe this is Kingdom Hearts One, which does not get you DMCA. <laughs> I don't know. So enjoy this match while you can, folks. You guys here are watching it live on Twitch, meaning that you might be the only ones to see this exciting match between Tilde and John Numbers. And they're already swinging. Look at this. John has been keeping Tilde at the ledge, but we're just gonna see a little bit of a reversal at that. Just making like. <sighs> It's 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 been a moment. I don't know, but for sure. But behind him? Duh. I I don't know what that interaction was. That was bizarre. I saw the interaction, but then what was going on here? Oh wow! And we're seeing John is on his second stock. When did this happen? Oh wait, the up to back here. Never mind. Yeah. Um. Anyways. Oh, but that fair is gonna take it. Okay. Only 64%. But this is kind of where we're like, uh, you know, um <laughs> John, get off ledge. <laughs> please. No. John, stay on ledge. I, I believe I, in I you. I said please! What? I said please. <laughs> this is, please means nothing to a man like John. <laughs> Look at him. He stays on the ledge! He cares not for your whims. This is his realm, and he wants to maintain his dominance <laughs> over the over the ledge. This is why that entire opening came up because he stayed on the ledge. That exact same thing happened again. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. If we're gonna be reading this like a freaking grimoire, <laughs> and you know, John is just freaking Voldemort like on crack. I don't, I don't know what the heck you want from me. <laughs> like, please. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a down there. Palatina who? Goddess where? No, get your get your doggy pose right. The I me I meant the the dog uh, you know what, never mind. What? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, um is the uh, Pierce not gonna take it. Very Beautiful. nice DI yeah. from John Numbers. And that down there gonna reverse, cause John was like, Oh, my feet is better than yours. Um I want you to die and you're gonna go the other way and not the way that you would have Oh, struck. I told you, don't let it happen. Don't get hit by the side pee on that platform and you take 70. Don't. Oh, are you dead? No, oh, you're not okay. dead. You're on the ledge against John Numbers. Oh, that's, that's I, he that was, was ready so for it. Oh, he wow. was he wanted to punish that up B, but couldn't quite. Although numbers at this point, I don't know if he needs to overextend too much. He is ahead by quite a bit. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, we're gonna see some combos. Okay, yep. it's double jump up there. Right. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what what what? Oh okay. That was, uh, let's get a replay on that last stock. They're the two stocks. The first stock and the last stock. I really okay. want to take another look at here. Uh-huh. The up air. Um, this is double jump air. Was, this this I, I started to get scared. Um he air dodged the ball, because that ball would have been a disaster for him to get hit by, but Numbers was already ready to cover it with that. Yeah, he just wound up behind him, but no hitbox. So the hitbox ended, oh. meaning that he wound up behind him? Because normally if it hits your shields, he stops in front of you. But if the hitbox is over, I guess he can actually go past you. Numbers was not ready for I'm that. I'm gonna be completely honest, that just looked like the move was over overall. Like, if we're gonna be completely honest. But he went past him. Yeah, the move was over. I don't, I don't know. But like, it, I don't know. I didn't realize that the hitbox ends before the move does. Look at that little shooter wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Anyways, it's not time for that scary song. Oh, that back air was looking. It was looking. John is oh. so bold and trying to. He almost. He died for it. That last game. Hello. <gasps> Uh, uh, oh. All because you wanted to up air. Mm. Only 10%. What is 10% gonna do for you? 108, maybe death. I. It's looking like it. Oh, you yeah, know one thing I might want to see with these at these percents where he's looking for back air. Maybe a little bit of crouching from numbers. You know, because both forward air and back air, which are one of his best like rising aerials, just completely whiff on a crouching we fit. 
Oh, that was... You saw that? Oh, wow. That was so good coming in from Tilde, taking that first stock. And Tilde only has 35%, and that was... He's just been... He's just been... Mm. I'm surprised that uh, Town and City wasn't banned, honestly. This is historically one of Falco's better stages. Uh, just the fact that the Blast Zones on the side are so, like, you know, they're so close. And on top of that, the platforms get... Oh, no, the ball actually got in the way. That Sun Salutation definitely would have hit if it wasn't there. Unfortunate from John. Wow. Okay. Okay, side B. Now, honestly, John Numbers was down by, I would say, a commensurate amount in the last game. And he managed to get the comeback nonetheless. Let's see if he can recreate that kind of success here. Honestly, this is not the position where you want to be trading blow for blow. You're already down by quite a bit. So, although, I mean, yeah, at this point, you just need to get him to a point where you can kill him with. Absolutely. And I think, you know, that, uh, the, we're, we're, the Politani was kind of saying something to John. Down there off stage? Mm, I would like that. I'd like that. Uh, actually, you could have just held shields. <laughs> well. Oh, yeah, numbers. He realized that his shield was actually getting quite tiny right there, which is why he kind of panicked and retreated. Tilted was already on top of that, though, followed through. That's how he's managed to get this advantageous position. And advantageous it certainly is. Another up tilt back air catching the roll. And that's going to be a really big lead for Tilde. Absolutely. Oh, and ooh, this could be bad. Nope, but John wants to get right back to stage, get that control so that he can put on some damage. Dang, we fit's air drift is honestly really good. Like our air speed is fine, but our air drift is just amazing. Absolutely, and speaking of air drift, can you really get out of what's kind of going on here? Is that air drift gonna be enough? Maybe that down air, but that tag. Did you see that tag? Because I saw that tag, and that tag was giving very much. Get off of me, you freaking, you freaking. <gasps> oh, oh, I hold on. I remember talking to Numbers, and I believe he said, maybe his Numbers were a different Wii Fit, that you can up smash at a shield when Falco hits you with side B. I'm curious as to why that didn't happen. Was it because it was the aerial version? It Actually, I think the aerial version does lead into, like, you know, a little bit less lag. But I mean, it w it would make sense. It is um, 11 frames out of the shield, so I don't think that that sounds about right for it to be the area. Uh, is it 11 frames? I think that. Yeah. All right, yeah. So it's 11 frames, but I you feel it feels like Falco side B should be minus 11, right? I mean, I would I I, I it would look like it. Frick is so fast that like I can't even blink, and like it'll just be done. Anyway, in the meantime, we have game three between these two. John's starting off pretty strong here, actually. About 57% already dealt on to Tilde. And he has deep breathing, so that damage can grow even faster here. Oh, but that's the danger. That's the first time we really saw the Flector come in clutch. And immediately, Don Numbers punished it. He just conditioned him. Oh, what a beautiful tech. Yeah, you can't just assume that... Uh, that Tilda's not going to be teching. Some of his, his... I've actually seen these two go back and forth off stage. It's some of the nuttiest stuff because they both can tech so wonderfully. <gasps> oh, no! He's dead! Oh, no. I this... was... I was just complimenting both of these players teching and then right as I do that, Numbers misses a pivotal tech that's going to really seriously cost him. Beautiful air dodge to the ledge. Yeah. But Numbers taking it with the down tilt. With deep breathing, that is absolutely a good move at the ledge. All right, boys. Still at a very much even percent right now. But not with the Falco combo. Ooh, 41 is going to be at ledge. However, this can be really scary for John. He might not be, you know, upset about that. But it, it's just a little bit scary because Tilde feels like he has a lot of control right here. Oh, oh, he wanted that. He saw the air dodge, but did not really the positioning to actually punish it. All of a sudden, things looking really grim for numbers. He's at 99% and trapped at the ledge. One more of those up tilts into backers will absolutely end him. 
Oh, but now it's Tilda is the one who's off stage. Can he actually get this tech? He can't. That's going to be huge numbers right now. Up a stock in game three. He's deep in the red, though. At 99, he could die to so many options that Tilda is definitely going to be throwing at him in just a moment. This is so scary right now because Tilde can just have this whole game turned on its back because it just wasn't, it wasn't the tech, it wasn't there. Andy breathing too? Look at the spacing from numbers. Finally though, that up smash finds it mar its mark. You know, Tilde was kind of fishing for it, but it was like calculated fishing. <laughs> You know, he knew what move he needed in the situation. And at this point, things are looking so close between these two. Look at it. Numbers, though, is the one off stage. Deep breathing in effect. But will he actually get a chance to use it before he has to make it back on? 75%. Hello? Continuously putting him out there, recognizing numbers, offstage habits, and now in game three, when it comes down to the wire, here's where Tilde is going to be exploiting them. I don't know. He was getting a little hype for that, but that back air isn't gonna connect, and now this. I don't know. It, it's still very scary for both these people. <gasps> what was that? What? He that read that roll, but Refit's roll is actually so farther than you think. Oh man, this is actually so close right now. Dead even between these two. Up throw's not gonna do it. Numbers having to get back down to the ground. Can he find it? Forward is not enough for mid stage. He's at 146 right now. Deep breathing. Now back in the in the pocket. And F tilt at the ledge will do it. Can he find it though? He's looking for it. Oh, they're both rolling. They do not want to be here. And this is so scary. I mean, not scary to a bird. Falco, Tilde is just waiting. Mm, has to be very careful because <laughs> Sean, that's not going to take it. This is. He has the sun. Oh He's been holding on to this sun. Is it going to come out when Tilde least expects it? I don't know how that down tilt missed. That absolutely would have been the game. He's falling out of forward airs. There comes the sun, but he dodges it perfectly. That might be enough. No. It's too stale. John has to find some way. That's going to do it. No. Oh! How is he still alive? 172%! Deep breathing once more! That's actually it! He finds it! The sun after all of that time! Look at the expression on both of their faces. That's the sort of thing where like, just nothing but pure intensity. Oh boy! Tilde had control. Tried, had so many fairs. And it traded too. It traded! If forward air. Oh my god. This has to be super sad for Tilde. He had such control over that match. He lost that stock super early and he still did not win. Hello? That was honestly incredible stuff. What a game oh, three between oh. those two. I cannot believe forward air was so stale. And I'm actually certain that there was one point in there where he hit forward air and numbers fell out of it. And I think that staled it because it got it to the queue, staled it just enough that that's why those other two forward airs weren't enough to do the job.